And the national champions on January the 4th, the University of Tennessee. It was just unbelievable memories. I was 13. In ways it feels like it was yesterday, and then in ways, you know, it feels like it was a lifetime ago. 20 years later, the Fulmer daughters are reliving that 98 championship season with their own children. Was Pa a good coach? <laughs> Yeah. He's six, and he's just starting to understand. An unfathomable season explained only by fate. This was meant to be that year. That year. Every week was sudden death. The pressure and expectations intensified with every win. And I can remember just physically shaking sometimes. Um, I couldn't control it. You know, just my nerves. And each week, a different highlight. Florida. I just so happened to be the one on the field. Was pure joy. I was the lucky charm, yes. <laughs> and pure chaos. And there was now 100,000 people on the field trying to hug dad and, and, you know, I'm in the middle of it. So he just picked me right up and security surrounded us and we trotted off as fast as we could. <laughs> I'll never forget the Arkansas game. It was the most nerve wracking game I think that I can remember. Tennessee was losing with time running out. You know, I went from my knees literally praying to like hugging my mom and, you know, screaming. The Vols capitalized on a fumble and won with just seconds to go. And I really felt in my heart that we may go undefeated. I just felt it. And at Vanderbilt, they did, ending the regular season with a win. 11 and 0, 11 and 0. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> we didn't lose. Like we haven't lost at all. And with an SEC title, the Fulmers headed to the Fiesta Bowl. I remember walking in um, and thinking, holy cow, you know, we're actually at the national championship. We made a pact that win or lose, we would walk off that field together. And as those final seconds ticked away. It was almost like it went silent. It was a real prayerful time for me. I can remember actually standing kind of back away and just watching it and seeing my dad look up at the, at the sky and just kind of being in disbelief. Undefeated, national champions. So special to get to see someone that you love reach that you know, pinnacle of success in a lifetime dream. The celebration carried from the field to the team bus. He's gonna hate me for saying this. Allison will never forget her dad's victory dance. So they just started dancing with the players and I just remember as a 12 year old like, oh my gosh. <laughs> All the weight was, you know, lifted off and just enjoying himself. Today, they don't have trophies, but they do have championship necklaces. It's the top of the national championship ring. A priceless gift from their mom. You go through it as a family union. I'll cherish it forever. And 20 years later, Vicki's only regret? I was thinking before the end of the night we'd have a chance to celebrate, and we never did. As soon as they landed in Knoxville, Fulmer left to recruit. And I just looked at him and I said, please, retire now. It's never going to get any better than this. And um, we still laugh about that. And he says, I should have taken your advice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so.